Hello guys, uh, welcome back. In this video, let's have a look on the visibility related tools. So right now I've got this model which has uh, got some uh, proper looping and the polygon flow. So the first thing is uh, uh, if you just uh, hold shift and control, you'll be uh, getting some tools here. Okay, uh, here we need to check with select rectangle and select lasso tool. So um, let's say if I click this brush, okay, you should be able to see those two brushes here select rectangle and lasso so we are going to use that just uh, to access them i need to press shift and control anytime uh, whatever brush you have in the hand uh, no matter you can access to this tool now when i just click and drag uh, you should able to see uh, a rectangular marquee but this is in green color and uh, whatever the points are within that region will be visible and the rest of the points are invisible okay so uh, i can hold uh, shift control and also i can press space bar and then move it anywhere I wanted and then it uh, shows the points which are there in that particular uh, selection okay so while I'm holding shift and control if I hold alt the selection turns to red color which makes the points invisible within that uh, selected area okay so we hide uh, certain parts of models for the work comfort so right now I've got uh, this model uh, let's say if I select those and then uh, if I if I have to make, make it as a polygon group a poly group I press Control W and then you should be able to see I made a polygroup out of it. So what I'm going to do here is uh, let me check with the other tool which is the Select Lasso tool. Just hold Shift Control and then just uh, draw like that. I can uh, do um, you know select the faces in whatever the shape I want there. And uh, when I'm doing that, if I hold Alt, that turns into red and that faces will be um, invisible. So let's say if I have to select a few of the faces on the forehead, then I'm going to hold Control Shift and then um, let me select those faces like that now uh, while i'm doing this i would uh, preferably switch my view to the perspective uh, to orthographic uh, so i can press p on the keyboard so i'm pressing p to disable the perspective view and then i'm going to select uh, those uh, faces like that and then i'm going to make those faces as the polygon group now you should be able to see i've not selected one face there uh, so what i have to do is uh, before you know getting into this area i'll be talking about something really important so let me select uh, this uh, selection tool and then when I'm just clicking and dragging, you should be able to see I'm making the face faces uh, uh, hidden uh, which are not in the selection area. So uh, if I have to make the selection inverse or if I want to show all the points which are hidden, I can do that. Uh, for that, I'm holding shift and control and I'm just clicking here, uh, clicking in the empty area. It's showing up all the points whereas when I'm pressing shift and control and drag it like that, it is going to inverse it. Okay, so click and drag okay so we also have uh, this button here with this menu here which is uh, visibility expand that and you have a few options there uh, so i'm going to uh, paint a mask here and you should be able to see uh, the faces are masked so uh, you could be able to see some faces are not uh, clearly masked so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click this button called hide points whatever the faces which are unmasked those faces are hidden here with this button uh, we have uh, the show points option which is uh, just like uh, how we uh, show up the points uh, it is going to show all the points which are hidden there uh, we have this option called grow which will grow the selection the faces keep expanding in terms of visibility and then we have the option called shrink which is going to shrink the faces here okay so uh, we have this button called grow all it will make all the faces visible in the selected uh, sub tool so when i'm going to choose that visibility and say grow all it will show up all the faces in that uh, sub tool here and uh, we have this option called outer ring which is going to keep uh, the faces uh, one one set of face around the border of that and the rest of them are hidden again you can go back and show the points as per your requirement so the faces which you have uh, made visible and press ctrl w it, it is going to make those faces as a polygon group so if i have to make a neat polygon group there so what i have to do is i need to carefully uh, hold um, i mean pick the lasso tool and then select those uh, faces like that and you should be able to see uh, some faces are um, extra selected and uh, one face is missing out there in that case you press shift control and alt and then deselect those faces and then you invert those faces and then you can uh, hide uh, those faces sometimes when you do something on the front it may affect on the back just check if anything like that happened and then you invert this uh, uh, you know uh, selection visibility and then press control w and you should be able to see you have done the uh, polygrouping there for that uh, let me try the same method for the polygrouping of the ear so I'm holding uh, shift control and I'm just dragging around that ear 
like that as you're able to see i've selected a few faces and uh, i don't want these faces to be in the poly grouping and i can deselect those like that as i told uh, keeping this in orthographic is really important while i'm doing this uh, symmetrical thing and then i'm pressing ctrl w and then you should be able to see i've poly grouped uh, the ear here so uh, you can do masking techniques you can use uh, 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 for poly grouping and all so visibility uh, has one more uh, nice feature so let's say if i am uh, selecting these faces and then making them invisible okay so the faces are invisible now i can do one thing that is i can go to the geometry here and in the modify topology option we have this option called delete hidden so that will delete the faces which are uh, invisible and also i can close those holes which can create a new set of faces and uh, you could check that this is more like a decimated mesh uh, it's not a properly looped up uh, patch here it's all triangulated however we can just uh, remesh that later 